Hi, this is Derek for President, and I'm going to teach you some cool tricks to increase the quality of your videos on YouTube. Watch this. This is a screenshot that I've done so that I can illustrate to you how detailed this video is. And uh, you'll notice that it hasn't been scaled or anything like that. I mean, this image really is 480 across and 360 tall. Now, I'm going to show you normally what YouTube does on a couple videos. So this is one of my older videos on YouTube, and we've all seen this screen here. You know what's going on, right? But there's a button right down here, and when you push that, that shows the actual size of the video, which is this 320 by 240 right here. And this is a video that I uploaded using the method that I'll be teaching you in just a moment. And when we push this button here, you'll notice that it doesn't get smaller. This is the full size here. Because the same video that I gave to YouTube is the same one that you are watching right now. And as long as you follow the rules, everything will work like that. Rule number one, don't break the speed limit. And that is 350 kilobits per second. If you go over, YouTube is going to re-encode the file. And in most cases, that's not going to be a good thing. Uh, one reason is because you have the original footage. And if you rehash it into a flash video that's going to get re-encoded or an MP4 that's going to get re-encoded, then you do that and degrade the quality. And then you send it to YouTube and they degrade the, the quality again. And their encode is sort of a one-size-fits-all quickie. They're really not knocking themselves out on it. And you could probably do a better job with the software that you have. And also you'll be able to customize it if you do it this way where let's say you want to focus more on the sound, you can have a higher bit rate from that and lower the bit rate on the video and vice versa. Also, it'll post faster if you do it this way because the only processing YouTube is going to do is they're going to add these uh, meta tag things on it that just says this is a YouTube video, but the actual picture and sound will be the same as what you gave them, which is really cool, I think. Now, I've got to mention that uh, because of this speed limit that YouTube has, there's not really a free ride. I mean, you can go to a, a bigger screen size like I did on this one, and that's good if you have screen captures. Or if your camera's mounted on a tripod, there's not a whole lot of stuff moving, and then it'll probably come out better for you. But if you have fast motion and stuff, the bigger file size, it's going to be more information to encode, and it'll just end up looking blockier. So you'll probably just want to use the normal 320 by 240 if you've got a lot of motion. But for some of you, this might work. Uh, but any way that you can avoid YouTube re-encoding it, I think, is a good thing, no matter what size you have. Uh, and also, the other rules we got to follow is the format, and we have to make sure that is correct. All right, and there's a way to check this, and what you do is you use this program, Media Info. It's a free download. I'm going to open it up, and what I'm going to do is open up our file that is done the right way. Here it is. It's a flash video, and the bit rate, we're not breaking the speed limit, okay? Codec, this is an important thing. It's got to be this Sorensen H263. There's another one I'm going to show you in a second that is not the right way. Width and height are, you can get away with a little more, remember, as long as you're not breaking the speed limit. Okay, and here is the wrong way. This is a flash video, we're not breaking the speed limit, but look, see this codec on to VP6? It's not the one YouTube uses, so they will re-encode it, and it'll be all for naught if you use that codec. So guys, just make sure you do the right one. Uh, but as long as you follow those rules, you'll be okay. So remember, stay under 350 kilobits per second. You want to make sure your video is resized to 480 by 360 or 320 by 240 and encode with Sorensen H263 Flash. And as long as you follow those rules, YouTube shouldn't re-encode it and it should go through fine. So you rich people with Final Cut Pro and... Uh, Adobe, Premiere, all that stuff. Go nuts. You should have enough information to do what you've got to do right now. Now, the rest of us, I'm going to show you a way to do it with some free software, okay? 
Now, one of the things you're going to want to do, obviously, is have it resized to the size that you want, whether it's the bigger 480 by 360 or a 320 by 240, whichever one you choose, you got to have it resized. So either you got to have an AVI file with that, or better yet, have AVI synth just take your original footage and scale it down for you with, you know, some big fancy way that takes care of the quality and stuff. And that's what I did, but that's really beyond the uh, scope of this video, so I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. But I, have, I already have one tutorial just to kind of get you antiquated with uh, AVI synth, and there will be more on the way, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, here's how you do it. This is the program we're going to be using to uh, do this encoding. It's called FFmpeg. You have to download it. But anyway, here's how we're going to do this. I have my footage here that's just an AVI file. I have this AVI synth script that tells what to do with it. And we have our target size 320 by 240. So I have the size that I want. And here's another thing we're going to do. And that's, we are going to open up Notepad right here. And we're going to paste the code. This is in the description for the video. Don't let it scare you. It's a whole bunch of gobbledygook. You don't have to understand it all. So don't freak out here. Uh, so here's our input file. I just called it video.avs from our AVI synth thing. If you're doing it from an AVI, all you have to do is change it so it's an AVI, like that. But again, I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm using the other one. So we load up the footage here. Only thing you need to know here, don't let this scare you. Trust me, it'll be fine. We have This is our audio bit rate, and you can fiddle with it as much as you want. Here's the video one right here. Remember, don't break the speed limit. So that means this here and this here cannot add up to be more than uh, you know 350 and don't push it you probably want to stay a little bit under just in case but as long as they're not over it's okay so as long as you have them set at an okay rate we are going to save this you go to file save as here's our video folder now I'm going to call it encode dot bat you know, just think of a batty bat. Uh, and you know what? Some of you guys on your Windows, it hides these file extensions. It's very important. It's got to be called the right thing. So I'm going to put it in quotes like this and save it. So now we save the file. And here it is, encode.bat. Now, magically, all you're going to have to do is open that. You can do it just by double-clicking. And here we go. And then we see that, ah, oh, it's 338 kilobits a second. So that's good. And uh, here's magically appeared your YouTube movie, and that's a flash video. Now, I'm going to make sure just to be safe, we're going to check it with media info. All right. It's a flash video. We're not breaking the speed limit, and it's in Sorensen, so it looks like we're good. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to encode your videos, so YouTube will not re-encode them. And I hope that's of good use for you. The only other thing I'm going to mention is that YouTube is changing. I mean, Google just bought them, and they're starting to come out with some higher quality versions of this stuff if you upload them a super high quality thing. Uh, but at this point, most people are just watching the kind of video that, that we're uploading here in this guide. But if in the future it ends up, you know, there's a better way to do this, I'll keep you updated. But for now, I think this is a pretty good way to do your videos. So happy encoding to you.